With everything going on in these markets, you might be wondering, are we gonna get a Santa Claus rally? Or maybe you keep hearing that term out in the news, but you don't know what it is. Let's take a look. Now, before we look at these charts in depth, important reminder that trading and investing can be extremely risky business. Therefore, it's your responsibility to evaluate any information, opinion, advice, or other content contained in this video. If you're new here, I'm Hima Reddy, and I use price, time, and momentum analysis to help boost my trading and that of my trading tribe. So here we have the S&P 500 Spider ETF, ticker SPY. So this is a, an instrument that a lot of my traders trade that follows the movement of the S&P 500 broad market index. As you can see from about this time last year, we have a downtrend line that's in place off the January 4th high connecting to the March 29th high that held beautifully in August and again here in December. Now, the thing is that right now, the way that the price action is going, which is not very pretty, clearly to the downside, in the very short term, there is room for this market to stabilize, meaning form a little bit of a low and recover higher. I'm not saying that's necessarily a move to new levels, but there's room for this fall to slow down. So what I would like to see is for that to unfold while we are above this level here, okay, the low from November 3rd. If the market can kind of find a footing in that area, then there's perhaps room for a Santa Claus rally. So what a Santa Claus rally refers to is the action of the market in December towards Christmas and often extending into the end of the year and the early days of the following new year. So if we want to compare back in time, this is an exercise I recommend you do no matter what you trade, okay? Here I'm using the SPY. And so I'm going to look at the SPY the past couple years and see, was there a Santa Claus rally? What did it look like? And you can use that as a reference. But you can do this on any individual stock, future, any chart you like. All right, so I'm going to kind of take our eyeballs back to this time right here, December 20th. So that's exactly a year ago tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this video. You can see that the market did surge higher right into December 28th, so through Christmas, and then it went sideways into the first trading days of the year. Then it started fall and it never recovered all the way back. So this gives us a little bit of a framework of the last Santa Claus rally, okay? Now also notice that that Santa Claus rally was within the context of the market advancing, right? Okay, we were still in a relatively healthy post-pandemic bull market, and so the Santa Claus rally fit the story of the prior trend. So notice that one difference versus the current action is that right now we are in the context of a downtrend on this market and are weakening, not just correcting, but weakening into the window for a Santa Claus rally. So that's a difference there that may mean Santa's not coming to town for the markets. It's too early to say for sure, but that kind of tips the scale in the Grinch's favor, if you will. Now let's go back another year. So I'm just gonna go back to the end of 2021. And here you can see at the end of 2021, we also had a Santa Claus rally. So this one was from December 21st, 2020 into January 4th, 2021. All right, we can keep going. I have my chart set back for 10 years of data. All right, let's look at the pre-pandemic action. So this is the end of 2020 right here. You can see that we rallied into January 2nd and that rally started well before on December 3rd, so the entire month of December in 2019, fed into the Santa Claus rally, which really sort of uh, the last legs here were from the 19th onward. So we're guys, we're at that same time of year about when a Santa Claus rally would happen. The key difference being this, look at it in 2019 into 2020, we were in a bull market. Look at it in 2020 to 2021, we were in a bull market. Look at it in 2021 to 2022, we were in a bull market. Are you seeing a theme there? The difference here is that we are not in a bull market. And so I would not make any trades or any strategy based on the expectation of a Santa rally. It is a general phenomenon, but it's not guaranteed to happen. Okay. The best move is to follow your risk reward, your markets you trade, your trading plan. And if you happen to be looking at the SPY, I'm letting you know that right now, to me, this is still all very much a decision time here. If you aren't already short from this December 13th high, I think it's a little 
um, late to get short on this down move, I'd rather see a little bit of a recovery. However, because of the RSI power zones, my favorite momentum indicator back at the bull support power zone, and because of some other things I'm seeing with market timing as well as Dan pattern analysis, there is room for the market to regroup here and at least revisit these November, December highs. Not a whole lot of room, but there is some room. So carefully monitor whether we get a price low forming above the November 3rd high. If we do, then what you wanna look for, and I'll turn these to my standard of blue and pink colors, is a move above the December 16th high on the SPY to offer scope for recovery. How much recovery? Well, that's I'm going to track using the E-mini S&P in my day-to-day -day skinny on the mini reports. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see if Santa can come to town or if the Grinch is going to stop him in his tracks. Remember, as I just showed you, I just walked you through, these are not the exact same market conditions that preceded the recent Santa Claus rallies. So be careful, watch your data, watch your indicators, and I'll catch you next time.